Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Danny Malcolm, we're here at Perth Golf Centre in Perth, Western Australia and here we have two indoor trackman bays, six coaching staff and the outdoor facilities here at the beautiful Western Australian Golf Club to help you guys improve your game. Now today's video is all about reducing that, that hook, so are you a player that's really suffering from those left shots, those low left shots with a hook where we get the club coming too much from the inside, face getting too short, and we get that rapid curve to the left, that sharp curvature to the left. If so, I've got my three top checkpoints, I guess, one drill and two checkpoints to help you reduce that hook. So number one is just a little skill drill, a little environment to help test out firstly, can you do it yourself without any technical interventions? So what I like to do for this, and I've got this drill here from uh, many, uh, you know, about a year or two ago from Andrew Rice, great coach there, recommend check out his channel over on YouTube and also Instagram. So what he does for this one, is just grabs a alignment rod and just places it a foot or two in front of the golf ball, right on your target line. So what we're gonna do here is just make some little dry swings with the goal of getting the club to travel left of that alignment rod whilst the ball starts to the right. So if you're a player that hooks the ball, what would happen is your club would travel to the right, but the ball would start to the left. So you get this kind of pattern through the shot and through the hitting area. There, so you would swing to the right of so that, ball would start left. We need to feel the opposite. So what can you do yourself first? So I'd start with some dry swings. Dry swings means without the golf ball. Starting right, this is not easy this, but I would start very slowly and just can you get that club swinging left? If at first you start to hit the stick, then just feel like you're swinging further left. Well, what would happen if you're a hooker of the ball, you would swing left and the ball would go miles left. So what you need to feel is your face much more open, aiming much more to the right as we swing left. Now, once you get a few dry swings there, just build it up to maybe a half swing, just create the feels. Then we'll bring a ball in and we'll start slow. So we'll start small. Can we get the club traveling left and ball starting to the right? There. So almost feeling like you're a slicer. And this is the key, guys, because if you're a player that hooks it, if you think of a continuum, if this was a dead straight shot here, and this was a big hook, and this was a big slice, if you're a player that's hooking it, we need to sprinkle in some slicey feels and ingredients to bring you back to center, more to neutral, to a more, you know, if that's what you're looking for. So again, can you start the club traveling left with the ball starting to the right? Just starting with little shots like that. So that's a great drill, not easy. Not easy guys, I must stress that it's not easy. So start small and take your time with that because what you'll happen at first as you swing left is you'll probably get that. So we need to get the club path and the club face in order to, to get that desired flight. Then you can bring that away and hopefully you start to, with those fields, you can start to bring in some longer swings, lengthen the swing and from there you start to reduce that's a nice little fade there, just feeling that feels. So rather than a low left, you've got a nice high right flight. So that's a skill piece. And I would always start there rather than thinking technical, but there may be something underlying. So two and three key points is gonna be checking your grip and your wrist positions because the grip has a huge influence on the club face. If you're a player that's got their club or the grip too far underneath, this way for the right hand golfer, too far to the right, then that's gonna make it more likely that the face is going to close and over time you'll be sick of hitting it left so you'll swing more to the right causing even you know more of a more of a pattern that we don't want so check your grip there if you're a player that's too far this way let's just bring it back a little bit more to center maybe just seeing two knuckles rather than three or four and getting the v pointing more towards your right ear right shoulder rather than below the right shoulder and same for your right hand getting the grip a bit more on top as opposed to too far underneath just to help control that club face a little bit better. So that's what I would do first, check the grip, key place to start, biggest influence on the club face. And then from there, it doesn't mean you can't play with a strong grip, it just means you have to do, that's why I say go first, see what you can do first yourself, and then you can bring in some grip changes if necessary. But I would recommend seeing a pro before you go and do that, see what's best for you. But then also you've got the wrists. So assuming the grip's good, uh, how you move the wrists in the swing is really going to affect the club face. So turning down or flexing down a lot this way, 
would close the face and if you continue that particularly in a downswing if you're doing it much more in a downswing you're going to have the face aiming left and the ball is going to go left so you're going to get these hooks and again players will compensate by trying to shove it out to the right to counteract that so what you might want to feel there is a little bit less of this a little bit more of this toe up feeling a little bit more extension in this wrist rather than bowing it down particularly when you come into the ball so if you're a player that's you know hooking it that's what you want to feel so again check where your wrists are you know it doesn't matter so much through the backswing although we like to get it in a good spot but really it's what's happening in the downswing is your face you know super shut from the top or is it good but then you really turn it down getting that face really closed and so just, just look out for that guys again i'd recommend to see a pro for that but if you can check on it yourself check where your wrists are so you've got number one first go into an external focus skill based drill task to see if you can do it yourself without changing technique but if we need to then we've got the grip that we can check and the wrist positions which i would recommend checking uh, with a qualified professional who can help you either online or in person so hope that helps there guys and if you are looking for some help here at perth golf center we do have six pga professionals that can help you with your game so head over to perthgolfcenter.com.au to book your lesson or club fitting today thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video